Have you ever wondered what gives salmon its striking pink color or why flamingos flaunt those vivid hues? The secret lies in a compound called astaxanthin. But is it just about the color or is there something more to it? Hello, I'm Deborah from Health News, and today we're talking about astaxanthin. It's making waves in the world of health and wellness, touted for its benefits like anti-aging, better exercise performance, and even skin health. But with all the hype, what does science actually say? Let's explore astaxanthin and uncover the truth behind the claims. You might have seen astaxanthin advertised as a powerful anti-aging agent, capable of reversing the effects of time on your skin. Others tout it as a strength booster, promising enhanced athletic performance and endurance. But let's dissect these claims one by one. So first, the anti-aging claim. A meta-analysis indicates that astaxanthin might help restore skin moisture and improve elasticity, though its effects on wrinkle reduction is less clear. These effects are more about skin health maintenance rather than turning back the clock. While there's some promising evidence supporting astaxanthin's role in aging skin, it's more important to note that these studies are just the beginning. Now regarding the boost in strength and endurance. Okay, the current scientific evidence is mixed at best. Some preliminary studies indicate potential benefits in exercise performance, but these findings are far from conclusive and certainly don't warrant the label of a miracle performance enhancer. So what can astaxanthin definitively do? Based on the research, it has shown some promise in improving certain markers of health, like reducing systemic inflammation and potentially influencing lipid profiles. Now, these are not dramatic overnight changes, but subtle improvements that could contribute to overall wellness. It's crucial to understand that supplements like astaxanthin are not quick fixes. The journey to Better health is multifaceted, involving diet, exercise, and lifestyle choices. While astaxanthin may have its place is a part of this journey, it's not a standalone solution to complex health issues. So while astaxanthin does promise some intriguing benefits, particularly in skin health and possibly in cholesterol management, it's crucial to approach these findings with a scientific lens. The research is ongoing, and as with any supplement, it's always best to consult with healthcare professionals before adding it to your regimen. To truly understand astaxanthin, we need to examine the research in some detail. Each study can shed light on different aspects of astaxanthin's potential and while also revealing the complexities and limitations of current research. In the comprehensive review in Marine Drugs Journal, researchers delve into astaxanthin's history, biochemical properties, and diverse applications. This overview stands out for its extensiveness, covering astaxanthin's role in environmental and societal challenges, as well as therapeutic potential. However, it's a review, not a clinical trial, meaning it compiles existing data rather than providing new experimental results. As such, it highlights the need for more direct research. The review underscores astaxanthin's significant rise in scientific interest, marked by exponential increase in research publications from 29 in 2001 to 414 in 2022, reflecting its emerging importance across various sectors. Initially used as a pigment in aquaculture, astaxanthin has transformed into a key player in addressing modern health challenges and exploring new commercial applications, from dietary supplements to potential rules in mitigating societal and environmental issues. This shift is supported by market research, projecting significant growth in astaxanthin's market, estimated to reach between 965 million US dollars and 3.2 
billion by 2026. Examine database, encompassing all things nutrition and supplementation, provides a nuanced overview, discussing astaxanthin's impact on oxidative stress and potential health outcomes. They note its similarity to beta-carotene and its unique chemical differences. However, the site points out that most of the evidence comes from animal studies or small-scale human trials, which may not be representative of larger populations. Moreover, within current research, we can find numerous mentions about astaxanthin being proposed to be a more potent antioxidant than vitamin E. Specifically, antioxidant properties are the reason why this compound is being explored for various applications, addressing different conditions. The Natural Medicine Journal's review is particularly enlightening, offering a grade-based evaluation of astaxanthin's uses. It underscores astaxanthin's antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. In this review, different potential benefits of astaxanthin are assigned grades based on the strength and reliability of the scientific evidence supporting them. For example, a C grade given to astaxanthin's effectiveness in conditions like carpal tunnel syndrome and dyspepsia signifies that the existing evidence is promising but still preliminary. Such a grade typically reflects studies that may have limitations, such as small sample sizes or a limited research scope. In essence, while these grades indicate potential benefits, they also suggest the need for more comprehensive research to firmly establish these effects. A study published in Nutrients that evaluated astaxanthin's effects on metabolic syndrome risks was based on a systemic review of seven studies with 321 participants. While it showed some positive effects, the diverse study designs and participant profiles add complexity to interpreting the results. Similarly, the pharmacological research study's meta-analysis included 14 articles. This this research revealed improvements in HDLC, often referred to as the good cholesterol because it helps remove other forms of cholesterol from your bloodstream, and CRP, a marker of inflammation in the body. Elevated levels of CRP are linked to an increased risk of heart disease. However, these beneficial effects of astaxanthin on HDLC and CRP levels were most pronounced under specific conditions such as higher dosages or longer supplementation periods, highlighting the variability of astaxanthin's impact. These studies, though insightful, often grapple with limitations like small sample sizes, varying dosages, and short durations. Such factors can influence the reliability and applicability of the findings. As research progresses, larger, more long-term studies will be essential to confirm astaxanthin's true potential and establish comprehensive guidelines for its use. Subscribe to Health News and check out the other videos for more insightful content. Together, let's embrace a healthier tomorrow.